Hi guys, it's Chris at the Cork and Crown, not in my cider shed, with some more cider to try, and we're going back to France. This time it's Normandy, and it's from a producer I've never had before. I'm quite excited to try it. It's, uh, here we are, Cidre de Normandie. This is the uh, Equilibre, so Equilibrium. Uh, Manoir de Durcet, uh, de pre-1930, so they've been making this since around 1930. It's got the protection of origin, the AOC, sort of IGP thing on there so no, it's the real deal this is four percent um this is fermier production these guys also milk cows which graze in the orchards i believe i think it's third generation since 1930 that's making this stuff and the family name is breton which caused me a little bit caused me a little bit of confusion because breton and normandy two different things but it's a breton family making this either in normandy in the middle of the national park there actually so it's a place i wish i'd known about previously because i definitely would have tried to go there um and I've already started this film once, but it went wrong. So as you can see, I've already opened it and poured it out. But it was a lovely pop, a lovely... Um, actually, I'll pour a little bit more in the glass. You can see the mousse. Lovely pop, nice smoking gun as I did it. And as you can see, it's a superb colour. But where are you, Chris? Where the heck are you? Excellent question. I'm in Norfolk, uh, staying in that building behind me. It's very nice indeed. But I've come outside because it's a very nice building, but it's, it's got two very loud screaming children running around in it. So I thought I'd come out here and have a glass of cider and talk to you guys instead. So thank you guys for allowing me that moment's freedom. All right, so, as you said, look at the moose, nice colour. It looks amazing there, doesn't it? Let's have a sniff. Ah, oh, smells absolutely flipping great is how it smells. Absolute. Oh, it's, got, it's got a ta 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 baked apple character, but there's a greenness about it as well. There's some sort of green element to it. Um, It's diminishing a little bit, but it's almost like a sappiness, a subtle sappiness in the background, which is great. Rich, deep butter, sugar, apples, you know, cooked in that. That's what it smells like. I say these things all the time, but that's the, that's the characteristic you get, and that's what I'm looking for in this sort of thing. It smells great, so it's demi-sec, isn't it? It's gonna, so it's going to have well, 4%, so yeah, not a lot of sugar has been, no, no, less sugar has been turned into alcohol. If it's four percent, so we expect to have some of those natural sugars left. Natural sugars, mind, because this is a keef cider, so it's just stalled fermentation, so all the sugar doesn't get eaten by the yeast. So you get some sweetness left in the finished product. It smells brilliant. It smells brilliant. I'm gonna try it. Hint of funk, maybe a hint of funk. So decent tannins. So what I've been saying recently is I think the Breton ciders tend to me to have a little bit more minerality, a bit more tannic character, both astringency, so soft tannin, and leatheriness, hard tannin. I would say that, that that follows that trend. This has got a little, it's a bit lighter. It's got a bit more malic acid though, I think, a little bit more acidity to it than we've had of late. Just a hint. It's nice, but you get a little bit of that green apple character over that kind of like baked apple carrots. So imagine if you, if you have one of those apple tarts you get in France and you've got the, the, the sugar on the top and the pastry that's all sticky. When you bite, bite into it, the apple in there is still actually quite raw and you get that acidity. It's kind of like that. I want to say toffee apple, but I think it's a bit more complex than toffee apple, what I'm getting here. It's really good. Yeah, man. You know what? And it says... It's great because it's demi-sec, but there's enough acidity in there to balance that sweetness to the point where it's almost perfect equilibrium. I can take sugar all day long. I love it. But I think for a lot of people who can't, they'd still love this because that sugar and acidity thing is absolutely in balance. It's brilliant. Very delicate tannins. No hard tannin to speak of. That is a cracking cider. It really is. Not only that, but it's also super cold. With a bit more heat in it, it'd be absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Man, the apple character in that is fantastic. Actually, that malic character is coming more to the fore. But that sweetness is still there. It almost feels like the sweetness, it almost wants to make your mouth feel sticky, like you're actually eating melted brown sugar. But that's not happening. But you get the sense of that sort of melted brown sugar character with the apple. Delicious thing. Delicious thing. We like it very much indeed. Manoir de Durcé, Cidre de Dormandie, Equilibré. We like a lot. And I'm going to drink all that now, put my feet up, and have a very nice night in. Well, guys, thank you for joining me. Not in my shed, but outside this building. 
in Norfolk, where I'm currently staying with my family. So I hope you join me here or back in my shed again. But until that time, cheers. <laughs>